Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how I made a hydroponic um, container from a coffee can or a coffee container. Uh, this is a deep water culture system, very inexpensive, basically thing for your um, plants, air stone, um, tubing, and then just needs to be hooked to an air pump. <clears throat> you can get an air pump at Walmart for five bucks, I think. I think this air stone was around three dollars. And uh, anyway, so you need a um, quarter inch hole. So quarter inch drill bit, drill a hole there. For the lid, um, I made this a foresight container. You could do two or three or one or whatever. Um, and I used a 7 8 inch hole saw. Um, you don't have to use a hole saw. You could um, just lay your net net cup down and trace around it and then take a razor or something cut it out um, I did find out though the um, let me get this back here a two inch hole saw at least for these net pots um, is exactly the diameter cuts a hole exactly the diameter of this so this will actually fall through that's why I went with a seven eighths and it will fit not all the way in but has a little bit left at the top. If you wanted it to fit flush you could take a knife and trim that out a little bit. Um, one thing I want to suggest though if you do use a hole saw um, get it started in the forward direction until the until this part goes in and then switch it in reverse because if you don't, once these teeth grab, it's going to sling your container across the room. You also want to make sure this is very secure before you drill it. Um, so anyway, that's, that's that. So I'm going to just quickly demonstrate how this goes together. This is quarter inch uh, tubing. It's important to use um, black tubing Let me just uh, put that on there It's in there well enough that'll work. Um, and then you just need to fill it up with some nutrient solution. And I've got some Maxi Bloom already mixed up. So it takes less than a gallon to fill this. This is 350 ppm. I think I used 400 on the last one. Yeah, that was okay. You just want it to be enough to go up within the first quarter inch or so of the net pot. So I'm going to add some more in here. Okay, and that's 
pretty much it. Put your plants in there. Um, this does work really well. I want to show you. Um, These two are the same kind of plant from the same seed stock started at the same time and they were the same size before I put this one in here and in three weeks it got that much bigger. So, um, so yeah it works really well. Um, the reason I my purpose for this is to to get them big enough to put in to, to pot up basically. Um, kind of speeds up the process. Now, you could grow one a lot bigger, especially if you just had one net net pot and just kind of grew it out. It would um, you could get. I mean, you couldn't grow one to maturity in this something this small, but you know, maybe a a smaller type of pepper or whatever you're growing could could do do that. But um, anyway, I'll um, I'll show you how this looks with my um, peppers or ready to go in there. i show how I set these peppers up to go in the hydro bucket. I take these uh, neoprene collars and uh, basically cut them in half and I'll trim the rapid reader plug from the bottom so that I have a little bit of room for the collar. So I'm going to take that out. It's a little bit, but that's okay. This is a West Indies Red Cardi from Cardi via yeah, Juanitos. Um, so, yeah, that's about perfect. And this one's probably okay. Sometimes I'll trim this out a little bit too, just to give it a little more room. That way, I can kind of, if it's not perfectly centered, I can put that on there better. But in the way, I just that's that okay I'm putting uh, these in here this is a Mayan love pepper Jay's Ghost Scorpion Red Naga Morich and uh, West Indies Red Cardi so basically a cardian red hab. All right, it's ready to hook up to the air air pump and um, put it under the light. Just want to give an update on uh, these plants that I just put in here. This is uh, day two. Just want to show you how these how this looks inside. Here. Kind of see how the air stays doing. These will start putting out a ton of roots here in the next few days. Right. They look good. Thanks for watching.